is happening, people. So, hey, today, you never know what wildlife adventures will be up to. So today, I am on the Eno River, and I have Kelsey with me, and I am helping the Wildlife Resources Commission collect some white bass today. So Kelsey is our District 5 Inland Fisheries Biologist, and they have been down for the last week or so trying to collect some white bass. And I'm going to let Kelsey tell you why they're trying to collect these bass and what they're doing to these bass in order to track them on their migrations in and out of the river system. That's right. Um, so like you said, I'm Kelsey. Um, we are starting a project where we're going to be um, surgically implanting acoustic telemetry tags. Ooh, I couldn't even say that word. <laughs> into um, white bass that are about <clears throat> 9 to 14 inches. And then we are going to be putting an array of receivers through the Eno and the Flat River. And we'll have a few in the Falls Lake, but we're not really trying to track them in the lake. Um, we're primarily trying to track them um, as they make their spawning migrations up the rivers. Mm -hmm. So what we're interested in is, you know, what environmental cues make them, um, you know, initiate their spawning migrations. You know, typically they'll stage for some some time, and then what what is it that makes them want to want to start their run? And then once you know, once they're in the river, we can track like their daily movements. We can um, track if they make multiple spawning migrations. We can um, identify what habitat they're selecting for, what type of flow conditions are optimal, and we can really just sort of hone in on um, what these white bass are using during their spawning migrations. And so that's going to help us to, A, be able to better sample them in the future, but also um, be able to provide, you know, anglers maybe who are not as familiar with white bass runs or mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. who are just looking for a little more information um, with with that data so mm -hmm. and so work. hopefully we can catch some fish and I'll show you guys how they implant those receivers hopefully yeah. hopefully <laughs> inside of them so it's very foggy as you can see today and we have two other boats that's with us they're further up the river we have came down the river and we have marked some fish down in the 13 to 15 foot range and so we're gonna start out we're gonna try to vertical jig these white bass water temps are 50 degrees so we're going to do some vertical jig and maybe throw some jigs to them. So hey, and go catch a fish. <laughs> well, we could catch six or seven. We could pick the biggest ones. I guess if we're going to do it, it's time. It's time to do it. As you can see, the day has not been very productive. Fish haven't really cooperated with actually biting. And uh, some of the things we threw was some larger size uh, crappy jigs in a yellow and white. And usually the old inline spinner usually does the trick on these white bass. Uh, not sure why we, we did some vertical jigging today uh, we we marked a lot of fish deep. They just they just wasn't doing any biting. So they just called it. The electro fishing boat just called us and said they got into a bunch of white bass further on up the Eno River. So anyway, we've come back to the dock, and we need to work these fish up and actually put these uh, these trackers inside of them. So we're gonna all get tied up here in just a few minutes and. Uh, Anyway, we're going to see how that's done. Hey, stay. We can always move it if somebody comes. So you hit a big pod of them, got 10 like at one time? <laughs> Apparently. Really? I'm not sure if we, but yeah, I'm Casey. I'm Sam Sink. Nice How you doing, to meet Casey? You. Nice to meet you. Yeah, there was a good bit. Um, we had like a few, and then, yeah, we turned into that little river. There was one like right at the opening, and then like two more at the opening, oh, shoot. and then like seven. What'd there. you wait so long to get them for? Ah, uh, uh, I know, that's, that's, what I, that's what I told Kelsey. That's what did we wait so long to get them for? I know. We didn't even get, I got one. But it still took a while to even get. I got one hit. Yeah. That was it. Slow down. I mean, we jig, 
deep water, fish on the flats. I don't really know what there is to tie off to. Ben the anchor man. What you think, Sam? Ben the anchor man. Tipped him, he got him. I told Casey we must be the common denominators. <sighs> Seth was with us last week. Yeah. yeah. Got lucky. Hey. We ate a little pocket of them and. I mean, Boom. Mm -hmm. Was it in that little other little creek up there that comes in on the Eno? Uh, a little. You know, I've never been able to. Like that. I don't have to do that. Big enough. Yeah, you probably do that. Get the biggest ones, probably. That's one of the Yeah. Yeah. 244. You know, when it goes to sleep, yeah. it floats to the top. Have to and what is that called? Um, aqueous. Yeah. Especially just club oil. Uh, Anna. Anna said. Oh, you're filming right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three sixteen. Go ahead. Three sixteen. Four seventy eight. Boy. So right now I'm just removing the scales so that my scalpel doesn't get stuck in them, sutures mm -hmm. don't get stuck in them. Fish. Now we make the incision. Just have a slight tummy ache. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna be her Sutures or three? We wrap. Well, I do four. Four? Or he's making total, total of sutures or wraps. Because that's two sutures. <laughs> Back in there and let him recuperate. He's a little sleepy. What was so the little? What is this is the pit tag. It's just the same it's as the like, what? It's like it's a pit tag, P I T. Integrated transmitter. So it's got to have it. It's got to have. This is essentially the same as what you put in dogs to like keep track of your dog or your cat. Okay, so it's got all the information on it. 
Yeah. And that's the These one. These are a little less fancy. They just have like a number associated with them, gotcha. and then we know that number. Correct. Which I, gotcha. I think that's actually the same as what the dogs have. It's just it just a number comes up. Mm -hmm. Got it. Thank you. Um, Perfect. I'm shaking bad as they are. Do you want to release it? We'll shake it. Sure. We're here to get him closer. Look, look, look. Hey, guys. Hey, I got a Wildlife Adventures fan right here. He said he was watching me on uh, YouTube just a few minutes ago. <laughs> I was. I was. Come on up, baby. I'm watching. And then you hope they don't have any vehicle trouble. All right, hey guys, I'm, uh, I forgot to end the video down there at the boat ramp at Eno. Hey, uh, I ain't gonna shoot you no bull. Today was a tough day on the water fishing. Hey, sometimes fish just don't bite all the time. We talked to several other boaters today with experience in the same thing we were. <clears throat> they weren't just, they weren't catching any fish either like we were. Luckily, Casey and Ben... Uh, got some uh, got the fish that we needed to tag uh, up the Eno with the shocking boat and uh, so that was so we all accomplished what we was after we needed eight fish to finish out uh, the fish for this point in time and then they're going to collect some more fish later in the spring as the white bass make their annual spring run up those creeks and they'll get the rest of the fish then they wanted to collect samples two different times and uh you know during during this year so, hey guys i hope you seen something today that you liked on the video hey you never know where wildlife adventures may wind up so i got to experience something brand new to me today and uh, i wanted to share that with you guys and i hope you enjoyed the video and hey you remember it's a wildlife and i'll see you on the water